Hey everyone, welcome back to Colorful Indian. It's so good to see you here today. We're going to be getting into the latest makeup releases. So, you know, if you're new here to the channel, my name is Ranita. I like to get into makeup related content. I also do lifestyle and mental health. If all of that speaks to you, then I'd love to see more of you. Hit that subscribe button. So let's begin by getting into the very first one. Now, this is um, from the account Makeup on Your Radar, which I use quite a lot to actually get my latest makeup releases. So if you ever want to just get information faster, I highly suggest going and subscribing to that account but um, this got me a little excited this is urban decay's all nighter and i have used this spray before i can attest to the fact that it's definitely really really good and it does exactly what it says which is you need to set your makeup and it keeps it on there all day so i really love using all nighter and i'm so happy to see right now that they're coming up with one that's got hyaluronic acid and watermelon extract um, it says over here that you're going to have bouncy skin, all dehydration, and a refreshing scent. And I absolutely love this. I actually am definitely going to be picking this up. I think it looks amazing. And then just check this out over here where it says Boosted Makeup Vibrancy. Oh my goodness, this, this looks amazing. It really, really does. And I would love to test this out and actually let you know if this is, you know, as good as it says it is. So just a little bit of information about All Nighter's, um, you know, setting spray. So this is going to give us a luminous, glowy finish. It's formulated with hyaluronic acid and watermelon extract. The formula basically keeps the makeup uh, looking fresh for up to 16 hours so it's instant all dehydration waterproof formula and then it's smudge sweat and transfer resistant prevents your makeup from cracking fading or flaking and um, it's a micro mist works for all skin types and it's been tested for safety allergy tested okay and it's cruelty free so the price is going to be 36 dollars and it's going to be available on the 28th of april so i'm really excited about this one and i definitely want to pick this up and try it out next we have this by lethal cosmetics it's um the avatar last uh, the last era it's Avatar's The Last Airbender, uh, you know, makeup. So it sounds like this is going to be awesome. It says launching May 2024, and there's going to be 15 incredible products that we can't wait to share with you. So yeah, I'm actually kind of looking forward to this. I mean, we had ColourPop already do their rendition of, you know, um, Avatar, and I'm just looking forward to seeing what they are going to be doing. It's going to be very, very interesting. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely, you know, like very curious to see what this collection is going to be looking like. This is a restock a lot over here for the Winter Wonderland palette by Cosmic Brushes. It costs $36. You can go and pick that up along with some of their other products. Um, I actually think that this palette looks amazing and I would love to pick it up myself, but right now it's not uh, possible for me to, so I just thought I would let you guys know. MBA Cosmetics is also doing a restock of their um, Sunset Beach palette, and this also looks really, really pretty. You get 12 beautiful colors, and it's uh, got two multi-chromes, two duochromes, one metallic, two shimmers, four mattes and uh, yeah I think that this is a very very pretty palette and I know that MBA Cosmetics has pretty good prices for their makeup as well so this is something worth looking into if you're interested in getting this. Okay, next we have this palette over here by Mica Beauty Shop and um, I've seen a couple of their other palettes and they honestly look so beautiful. The multi-chromes look amazing. So this palette is called Simplicity. It's going to have nine matte shades, six shimmer shades, and it's got flaky, multi-sparkly, multi-chromes. So perfect for everyday looks, colorful, creative date night looks, and um, the color scheme is exactly like the name, simple but with a twist. It's releasing on the, on the 20th of April, so that would have been yesterday at 6 p.m and it costs 55 50 uh, euros so uh, this is limited stock and they're going to be uh, providing us with you know swatches and stuff um, probably today like on the day that I'm recording it but I don't see any at the moment so for now we'll just have to wait but honestly um, I think this is a really pretty palette for spring I like the name simplicity and I feel like what they said which is you know it's kind of uh, yeah it, it's basically exactly what the name says so I do like that and I love palettes that have a good variety of multi-chromes I feel like multi-chromes always spice up looks and they just make them so much fun so I really like this and I'm actually really interested in testing this one out as well because I've been following them for some time I haven't tried any palettes from here but their palettes do look amazing and so do the multi-chromes so the quality um, really comes through in the photographs that I've seen and uh, yeah this is on my to buy list I'm actually very very interested in this one next we have these really really pretty mascaras by Benefit Cosmetics now I absolutely love the mascaras from Benefit my favorite mascara right now is from Benefit and I just I just can't get enough of it so seeing that they're going to be coming up with like colored mascaras that looks amazing um, the only thing for me is I wish 
wish that the ones were curved like it looks like in these images that they're not they're just straight ones but you know I just like the formula so much a benefit that I'm actually very very tempted by these so if we just um, come over here you can see that it's uh, gonna be in the shade power blue so this says 36 hour full blast volume um, and it's water resistant smudge proof and flake free it's got the custom big Simpactyl brush. I'm assuming that it's a special design and you know it's probably to like uh, make application better. The other colors they have are Rebel Brown as you can see over here and then this pretty like burgundy color which is called Wild Plum. Um, this looks really, really good and I'm really interested in it. So it says it's got 360 degree reach and uh, it's gonna reach from your roots to your tips and corner to corner. So that's obviously great. And the price is $29 for these colors. I'm genuinely interested in these i think that they look really really pretty and uh, yeah i'm very interested to see you know how that's going to be this has me really really excited because i love anything from adept cosmetics now this is just a sneak peek there's no information that's really come out yet but i can kind of see over here that you know there's like a name it says lights up pisces 1997 lavender vibes floral something uh, i can't i can't really tell is that caramel so I'm seeing like a few things here. I uh, like, yeah, I, I don't know what this color scheme is going to be like, but whatever it is from Adept, I'm interested in it and I can't wait to see what they're putting out for us. So uh, yeah, let's see what they actually, uh, you know, show us over the next few weeks. I'm definitely interested in seeing this one. Fenty Beauty appears to be releasing what looks like a foundation and it's probably going to be having sunscreen. At least that's what I'm hoping it is because yeah, that would be freaking awesome. They've released quite a few hints and... Uh, yeah, it looks like that's going to be really, really popular because a lot of people seem to be very, very keen to, you know, actually get into this one. So am I, and uh, I really am looking forward to seeing what this is going to be. Alrighty, this over here is by Blend Bunny Cosmetics, and they have released a whole collection over here. And I'm going to be honest with you, when I first actually saw this collection, and you can see the swatches and how pretty this is, they really, really do look very, very beautiful. But the thing is, when I first saw this, I honestly thought that this was a Be Perfect palette. It just looks so similar in terms of design and and um, because I currently have quite a few Be Perfect palettes and I do use them every now and then because the quality is amazing. Like it really, really is good. Because I have that, I'm not really um, tempted into buying, you know, this particular palette because it's just too similar and I need to like get through the makeup I already have before getting something like this. Now about those two blushes over there, um, that also reminds me of many colors that I already have in my collection. So I don't feel particularly drawn to anything really in this collection, even though I do think that the colors are very pretty. And if I didn't have a rainbow palette, I would absolutely have picked this up because I do love a lot of colors and I love rainbows. So this palette has 45 shades. It's six $66 for that one and then for the blush palette it's going to be 26 USD each and for the celestial cheek glaze it's 16 USD that's that pink thing over there that you can see and then we have star bust lash clusters with a reusable box for 12 USD so uh, yeah that's basically this entire collection let me know what your thoughts are if you're going to be picking this up I for, for me this was um, a very easy pass Colourpop has come up with this Beauty and the Beast collection which is actually really cute when I saw it I was thinking oh this does look really cute now the only thing for me is that the colors are just a little bit too bland for my particular taste so I do like those rose blushes I think they're very pretty but again it's just not really me so this whole collection is very very cute but it doesn't really draw me in and it doesn't inspire me to get anything from it really but I'm just going to show you the photos anyway. Just look at these. Um, I think Dinner and Bite is probably my favorite shade, which is that gorgeous blue right at the corner over there. Um, and then even these the lipsticks look really pretty. I had a friend who had actually like zoomed up close and they were showing you like the rose imprints on the lipstick. And I was thinking, yeah, that's really, really cute. I do like that. But again, the shades are just so similar to other shades that I have in my makeup collection already that I'm just not really drawn to getting this. So yeah, we can you can basically see how pretty the packaging is. Is over here I think it's very pretty they've you know put all the loved Disney characters onto the packaging and that obviously makes a difference so this collection is um, gonna be like 22 for the eyeshadow palette $14 for the blushers um, $18 for the lipsticks and the lip glosses and then $15 for the su super shock sh uh, highlighters and $12 for the enchanted rose lip mask
I was really intrigued by this palette because I actually really love the colors. I think that they are so beautiful, that blue, the purples, that green, all of those colors are just me to a, to a T. I just absolutely love them. So this is the Crystal Cream Eyeshadow Palette by Cosette Beauty. I'm not familiar with this brand, so I don't know how to really say like whether the quality is great and everything, but the price for this is $42. Now, the price is really what got me. I would have loved to have picked up this palette, but $42 for just eight shades. It seems kind of steep. It's not really something that I would have expected from just, you know, eight shades. I think that's quite expensive. So I'm just coming here to look at the brand account over here and you can see, you know, the swatches. Um, they look really pretty. These look like beautiful, beautiful shimmer shades. And yeah, I'm so tempted and it's just that price that I feel. The price point is just a bit too high personally for me. Otherwise, I totally would have picked this one up. Okay, next we have these really beautiful fragrances by Charlotte Tilbury. I was so intrigued when I saw these photos because honestly, it looks so beautiful. Like all these bottles, I would love to have like all of them and just arrange them and keep them on my table. They're so, so pretty. Um, and then I went down and I was also looking at the names. I didn't really particularly like the names. I love the colors. I love the design of the bottle. I just don't like, I'm not feeling the names in any capacity. I think the only thing I would probably like is Calm Bliss and Cosmic Power, but even that, yeah, it, it's just not really me. So anyway, let's go down. Um, this is the Fragrance Collection of Emotions created by Master Perfumers, backed by Science. So basically, this is 150 USD for 100 ml over here. Um, seems like it's a bit steep. I mean, there are lots of perfumes out there that you could go and you could get for a lot less than $150. So as much as I love the packaging of this, it just feels like it's a bit too steep and I'm not the biggest fan of the names. Um, I do love the colors though and the designs and stuff. Those are beautiful. So I kind of wish that, you know, it was just a bit cheaper and the names were different and maybe a bit more classy. I just, I'm not really feeling the names at all. Alrighty, and now we have this over here by She Glam. They are going into like a whole Marilyn Monroe collection. It's a little underwhelming. I just don't feel like it looks all that great. I mean, you know, you can get a classic red lipstick from anywhere. Um, you can easily do, you know, black eyeliner and all of that. You can get these shades. So I kind of feel like this is a dupable collection. It's not really something that I would spend on. Um, but this is uh, basically 47 and 99 cents for the entire collection. So obviously you can't beat prices when it comes to She Glam. They do give you some lovely stuff for very, very cheap prices. Um, I loved their Chromazone eyeliners. Those were multi-chrome eyeliners and they did a fantastic job and I still think their prices are amazing for those. So yeah, I, I honestly think the price is wonderful, but I just find the collection just underwhelming. You know, it's, it's just something you can probably recreate with anything. So it's an easy pass for me. Right, so next we have this over here by Kenzo. It's very, very pretty. It is a perfume and it's got sakura flowers. So I was very interested in that because, you know, I saw the sakura flowers and then I saw that little bit of citrus over there. So all of that kind of feels like something that I would like to try. Um, this looks really pretty. I have tried Kenzo perfumes before. My aunt actually really loved them and she had quite a nice collection. So uh, yeah, this one looks really, really beautiful and oh my goodness there's so many more over here um yeah I'm, I'm definitely gonna be like looking into this because this looks absolutely gorgeous so uh over here um the person who's created it the perfumer her name is Susie Lee Helly and she said that I was inspired by the minimalistic Japanese aesthetic the soft tones of sakura petals embody the spirit and I wanted to brighten them with mandarin tones ethically sourced in Madagascar so I imagined it's dry down as a tender cloud conferred by comforting masks okay that sounds really really cool i would love to try this out and uh, yeah i'm looking forward to seeing like all of this and let me see if i can find more information on this particular release right, so from what i found online this is approximately 76 dollars to get this perfume um but you know i think that it sounds so nice that you know i would actually love to get this one <laughs> Next we have this over here. It's a full collection by Melt Cosmetics and I have to say that the colors really speak to me. I think this is so pretty. Um, I just love all of that green that I'm seeing but it's a mostly purple palette so this is Smoke Sessions 2 and they said that it's a highly requested collection. They couldn't get enough, uh, get enough of smoke 
session so they decided to make this one um, so you've basically got the palette um, high waterproof mascaras and then you've got metal eyes and sour grape and clockwork purple gel eyeliners and afterlife and haze smoke and two nail decals so this is available now at melt cosmetics and there is a neon cross body sling bag as well which is not part of the bundle if i go to melt cosmetics um, yeah they have basically posted this over here and uh, it does look pretty nice. Let me see how much that collection is. Um, it's 39 for the bag. I'm not seeing that particular collection over here. It's $150 for the entire Smoke Sessions 2 collection and $48 for the palette. Firstly, I think that there have been other palettes. Like, I mean, it kind of looks like you could probably um, just use the purple palette that recently came out from Bella Beauty Bar. Uh, the tones just seem very similar and you would be getting a lot more purple shades so if i was actually in search for purple palette i would actually get that one over this one simply because you're just getting a lot more shades okay, now we have this by bare minerals i've been seeing so many releases by bare minerals lately i feel like they're just yeah just throwing new products at us and i mean not that that's a bad thing but i've seen so many show up lately on my feed so this is skin rescue they've got um different ones you've got one with vitamin c and rainbow seaweed it's a brightening elixir and then we've got something with pure moisture serum one percent pga and plant algae uh, that's an intense hydrating booster and then we've got pure smooth um, serum with 5% niacinamide and chebula. I don't know what chebula is, but I'm, I'm willing to try all of these. They sound so nice. Um, I love serums. I feel like serums make such a big difference to your skincare routine, so this does kind of sound nice. Um, so over here they're saying Skin Rescue Pure Smooth. It's a line and wrinkle corrector that will reduce your lines and wrinkles and fight signs of aging in seven days for all skin types. Yeah, yeah, sign me up for that one. Then the Pure Moisture is an intense hydrating booster clinically proven to improve hydration for 24 hours while helping to repress your skin's barrier function. And then you have the Pure Glow, which is obviously a brightening treatment because of the vitamin C. Anything with vitamin C and you know it's going to be focusing on brightening up your skin. So all of this... Uh, basically would be amazing honestly for your skin i'm just hearing about it and i'm thinking yeah this sounds amazing and i would love to try this out next we have these pretty blushes from pat mcgrath um, i think that they look nice the packaging is pretty as always but the shades just look like shades you could get you know easily from anywhere it's not something that i feel like i would actually pick up they do look nice though i mean they've modeled everything really beautifully so let's see what this is going to be costing us um is there any information on the price? Yes, they're going to be $29 each. So uh, these are vegan and they're coming out on the 26th of April. Now, I personally just feel like, you know, blushers, you can easily get something like for uh, a lot less than $29 because you're, you're only paying for one color over here. And I know that it looks it looks really pretty, um, but I, I wouldn't be paying full price for this. I just feel like it's a bit pricey for one shade. This over here is probably what shocked me the most because this is by Hourglass. You can see, you know, that there's only four shades in here and it's a whooping $77. It's a limited edition. It's called the Ambient Lighting Palette Golden Rose Edit. I know that there's so much hype around Hourglass, but honestly, when I see their palettes and they do look really beautiful, I just feel like a lot of their products are overpriced. It's It seems very expensive. Like for four shades, you're going to charge $77. Like this this needs to be making someone look like a golden rose. I mean, uh, it just feels like a lot. So it's basically a palette with blush, bronzer, and highlighter with photoluminescence technology, defines, emphasizes. I, so, I mean, it's doing a lot. I mean, it's got four shades of blush, bronzer, and highlighter. That's what they're seeing, and, you know, that it's going to um, capture, diffuse, and soften surrounding light to refine the appearance of the skin, and you can apply it individually or layer for multi-dimensional multi -dimensional radiance. Um, so there's four shades, again, you know, and it's... $77. It's it's a lot of money. I mean, just for four shades. Um, I would honestly never try this unless it was on sale and it would have to be significantly marked down. I just feel sometimes that makeup products are crazy expensive and it's just unjustified. I feel this price is just too much. All right, last but not least, I have this set of blushers 
from Rare Beauty. Um, basically, it's a whole collection and it looks really pretty, honestly. Like, just seeing this looks so, so exciting. I can imagine getting something like this in PR. I would be excited if, you know, that was to happen to me. The shades look so beautiful. And I'm honestly dying to try out Rare Beauty's blushes because every time I see them, they look like jewels. Like, I love the way that they've been packaged and the way that, you know, every photo is taken because it gives this very soft kind of beautiful highlighty glow like feel happening over there so this is the soft pinch blush collector set so you're basically getting six full-size shades of the soft pinch luminous power blush lineup four full-size shades of the viral soft pinch liquid blushers then you get a blush brush a powder brush and a set exclusive dry brush cleaner so that's basically 11 different products just in this you know collection over here and um it costs $248 so that brings us to like an approximate $22 for each product that you're going to be getting in here so I think that you know if you really really love um, these blushes this would probably be a dream come true for you I'm actually someone who's never tried any of the Rare Beauty blushers but I've always been drawn to them so I actually have an interest in this it's just that $248 now yeah I can't justify that so maybe I can just start with one and see how that goes but I, I have to say it looks very very tempting and I love the packaging i think it's so 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 pretty so anyway thank you for joining me today for all of the latest makeup releases i'm actually interested in a few of them some of them i think are absolutely crazy like especially price wise and everything um i think some of them were extremely expensive and unjustified but uh, it looks like there are quite a few nice things coming out and you know i will see you again for another video where we look at more of the makeup that's coming out soon and until then i hope you have a wonderful week but thank you for joining me for this one and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.